What's up, Android Finex? Tech Finex here from AndroidRoots.com. We've been at the Nexus for yes, really great and amazing. And today I'm showing you how to install Clockwork on Recovery on a Windows computer. Now, if you're on a Mac-based computer, you can check that annotation right here somewhere on the screen um, to get it for the Mac as well. Very easy to do, just about the same process. Just make sure you correct, download the correct file for the correct video. So let's get this whole thing started. So um, I just want to warn you, this will delete everything on your phone. It will do a fact, It will basically do a factory reset um, throughout the whole process. So make sure you do back up your apps, contents, music, uh, music files, um, photos, movies, everything. Just back it up just to make sure, um, you know, better be safe than sorry, right? So just back it up to your computer or uh, upload it to Google Drive or uh, Dropbox, you know, multiple ways to back it up. So once you got it all backed up and safe, we're going to enter our phone into bootloader mode. So just power it off. And wait till it shuts down. And Clockwork Recovery is really great, you know, to install custom ROMs, mods, tweaks, all that good stuff. So it's really great. So once you're on this, um, this screen, once powered off, <laughs> press the volume up, volume down, and power button all at the same time. When you feel the vibration, let go of the power, but keep holding the volume up and volume down. So all three. Vibration, let go of the power. And now you'll be on this screen. So, okay, so just plug it in via micro USB. And let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, there's two things on the screen right now. Um, one is called Samsung USB drivers, and the other one is Clockwork Mod uh, Nexus 4. Uh, first thing we'll be doing is installing the correct drivers for it. Um, no matter what, make sure you do this process or you're gonna get into waiting for device problem. So just double click this. As always, I have everything mentioned in this video in the description below. So just check that uh, uh, the link in the description below and um, get started. You know, start downloading all the files that are needed. Um, but after you get these drivers installed, it'll be very easy. So just click run and it'll tell you that it's already installed. But even if it tells you that it's already installed, make sure you just keep going on forward with it because you, um, you should need it. So right now it says um, you need it installed. So we're just going to click yes and we're just going to go through this whole process. So I'll be back once this is done. And now we're gonna go into device manager. So just click, you know, switch on the start bar in this um, bottom corner, device manager. And you'll be you'll you'll have, you'll be able to see the screen. Let me switch out a bit. Okay, and um sometimes uh, make sure your phone is already plugged in as well. And right here as you can see I got Samsung Android phone. Yours may say uh, mobile device, external device, something like that. Um, click on the little uh, triangle so you can pull down and yours should say probably if your um, ADB isn't installed then yours would say um, Nexus 4 and if it's, even if it says this then just uh, watch this video still. So we're going to click on Samsung ADB interface and then we're going to go to driver then update driver browse my software um, browse my computer for software and then choose let me pick a list of, uh, list of drivers on my computer and then click on the Samsung one and then just choose any of the ADB driver interface. So I always choose the first one and uh, just select yes, ignore it. And then I'll go throughout and install the correct drivers and it says it's successful and you're good to go. So once you got this part done, um, that's probably the hardest part, which isn't really that bad, is it? <laughs> so let's just close all this out and then you'll be able to see the other folder. So let's go back to the other folder right there. So you'll be able to see right here on Clockwork My Nexus 4 folder right there. So um, you don't have to open it up or anything like that. Just make sure your phone is still plugged into your computer and it's still in bootloader mode, which it should be. So nothing to worry about. But now go ahead and open Command Prompt. Just search it or you can find it manually. It really doesn't matter. And now you'll be able to see this. And now we're going to uh, get to the fun part and it, we're going to start typing in some commands. So first command is going to be CD Desktop. And also make sure uh, this uh, Clockwork Mod uh, Nexus 4 folder is on your desktop. As always, I have a link in the description below, like I mentioned earlier, where you can download all these files I mentioned. So go ahead and download it, unzip it, and move it to your desktop. Make sure it's on your desktop or you're going to run into problems when you start typing in the commands. So let's open up Command Prompt once again and type in CD Desktop, enter, and then we type in CD Clockwork Clockwork Mod Nexus 4, enter. And now we're gonna unlock our bootloader. Okay, so types fastboot, OEM, unlock. And you get these three dots, and when you look at your phone screen now, you'll, you'll be able to see this, let me zoom out a little bit. 
and now it says unlock bootloader with question mark and yes and no obviously you want to unlock it so uh, select the volume up and power button to unlock the bootloader and now if my camera does focus uh, you'll be able to see right there um, lock state locked or unlocked I'm sorry lock state unlocked which is in red so that means your bootloader is unlocked and we're just about done just one more command and we are done so now we're going to type in fastboot space flash recovery space recovery and then press tab and it automatically fills it in for you and uh, make sure you do uh, um, type recovery twice and then um, put the tab so it automatically fills it in so it's fast boot flash recovery space recovery and then there also I forgot to mention earlier is if you can't read this or you just can't hear me or for any reason um, I'll have a uh, um, the same link where you download all these files, I'm um, a written step-by-step -step guide, so definitely click on that link, a very important link in the description below for written step-by-step -step guides with pictures and everything needed. And I'll just press enter, and it'll be flashing the stock, um, not stock, clock or my recovery onto your Nexus 4. So that is complete. You can unplug your phone, and the rest of the process will be uh, done, on our, done on our Nexus 4. Okay, so you'll still be on the screen, you'll still still see the start screen and unlock bootloader at the bottom. Press the volume up twice, one, two. You'll see recovery mode at the top and use the power button to, select to enter into recovery mode. So give it a few seconds to boot into a clock mode recovery and you should be there. Awesome. So now we're in the clock mode recovery mode and you can start enjoying installing custom ROMs and everything. But one thing before you do reboot back into your normal boot state, uh, do a wipe data set factory reset or you will get stuck into um, soft brick. So select wipe data set factory reset and select yes. So that will just wipe up everything and it'll help avoid you getting uh, soft bricked. So make sure that is wiped. And now you can reboot your system now, install zip from SD card if you have a custom ROM, um, tweaks, themes, everything. So I'm just going to select reboot system now and it's going to re reboot my phone into normal state. And that is how you install Clockmart Recovery on your Nexus 4 on Windows. And like I said earlier, if you need it for a Mac, you can click on the annotation somewhere around here. <laughs> um, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. And show me some love by hitting that subscribe button right up at the top. And the bottom left corner, give me a big old thumbs up as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to follow me, like me, and add me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Those are also excellent ways to get in contact with me for um, this video if you need help on this video or any other video I've made for uh, any of, on my YouTube channel or any of my guides as well. Thanks for watching guys. I will see you next time. Yeah.